What's good, y'all? It's your girl, Miss Two Bs, and I'm here with the Bronx own A Buggy. How you feeling today? I'm all right, cool and cool. So, hoodie season is a special time in New York. It comes oh, yeah. like about around like after Labor Day, and it's the same title as your upcoming album. What's the meaning behind the title, Hoodie Season? Big fact. It was supposed to drop in September, by the way. Oh, uh, the yeah. real hoodie season. That's when yeah. it started. Yeah, but we we still wearing hoodies. I got my hoodie on right now, True. jacket hoodie. Yeah, but um, the definition of hoodie season, I feel like. Is me coming back to my zone where I started from and putting my hoodie back on, basically. And it's two definitions of my character, basically. Like, I got two characters. I got Artist and A Boogie. And okay. I'm making a tour called Artist versus A Boogie because in February, I'm dropping Artist 2.0. Another I saw album. you preview that on your Insta story yesterday. Yeah, big facts. And this one is like, for me, A Boogie. Hoodie season. Right. So A Boogie versus Artist right there. So you said um, Artist 2.0 is coming in February, but I saw you said it's almost 50% done. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So what else has to be done <laughs> for it? I got like six more songs to go, but after that, I'm making a whole nother thing. I can't talk about that yet. It's too soon. All right, <laughs> so we'll we'll look forward to that. Yeah, it's too soon. And I but... see you have like a Michael Jackson pin on yeah, your bomber. Yeah, big fact, big fact. And you sampled just... him twice. I look back at it. Is yeah, he one crazy, of your favorite right? artists? Yeah, it's crazy. I even got to sample that, um, right. play that song. Because, like, I never even heard nobody do that. So it took a whole year to get yeah, that Yeah, I low-key wanted to get light and slow motion at the end. <laughs> like, that shit made me want to get light. That's crazy. Because <laughs> making that song, I had mad different ideas for it. I made it slow. I made it fast. I made it regular. It was, like, mad different process was crazy. So I'm You know what else stood out to me? Um, I also saw your Insta story that you're already shooting the music video. Yeah, I just shot And it was, video. like, a school setting. This the fit right here. I, I still okay. got the outfit type shit. That's What's what the deal with that? On. The school aesthetic, it's a, it's like what's, a, it's I, the theme, like the theme. I can't, I can't talk about it. Yeah, they gonna get it. No, you gotta tell me something. Get it. Nah, something. Okay, I gotta see it. <laughs> <laughs> gotta see it. So, based on your recent posts, we know that Takashi Six Nine's gonna be on there. Juice World's on there, and of course. Offset and Tiger, because they featured on the um, single. Yeah. Do you have any more guest features that we could look forward to? I'm I'm most excited about right now. I feel like the Queen Naja one, because... The what? Queen Naja. Queen yeah, Na- Queen Naja okay. got a song called Close On That One. That song was one of my favorite songs. I was I was going to put that one on Artist Part 2. That but, sounds like a vibe already. Yeah, but I feel like I can't have my fans waiting that long no more. I got to just, for me, let it go. It's been a year. I got to drop the clip right now, so... That's what I'm doing. What took so long for the album? You said you worked the whole year on it. And I feel like a lot of artists, they be putting out music so fast nowadays. Yeah, it they ain't, don't take their time. It ain't that it took me a whole year to finish it. It's that I had so much songs that I made. And I had to like, I made them six albums before I made Hoodie Season. Right. It's just that it so happened that right. those songs got picked for that um, album. And I haven't been dropping in between it because I just I just wanted to create my for me my load mad songs mad songs just keep on making songs music I feel like that's the most important part because when you on the road you don't really get to create that much your crap for me it starts to expire and you over there performing every single day your voice is running now you can't even go to the studio and sing after that so yeah. So speaking of someone that you're cool with, Takashi Six Nine, have you spoken to him ever since nah, he got jammed up? Nah, I ain't get I ain't get in contact with him yet. I've been trying to, but I ain't get his um information yet. But before that, she already know everything was great vibes. Right, right great vibes. Well, I wish we got a chance to shoot this video. That would have been crazy. Which um, one? For um, the both of them. Waka oh. and um Swerving. Waka fires. Right. <laughs> it sounds that's your signature sound. Of course yeah, you had yeah. that down pack. Yeah. Fire. So speaking of vibes, uh, Kodak Black did an interview with The Breakfast Club, and he said things are all good between you. Yeah, Can you yeah. confirm that? Yeah, confirm. Confirm everything's all good? Confirm, perfect. Good in the hood? Perfect. All right, cool. So you released a song, Star Tender. That's the song with Tiger and Offset. Facts. What's the difference between a star tender and a bartender? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know, what's the difference? <laughs> star tenders basically came from starlets. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's a specific that bartender from Starlets. Ain't no specific bartender, nah. <laughs> okay. I, nah, I just, I'm just trying to figure out. <laughs> nah, they trying to lie, guys. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it ain't no specific um, bartender, but that's the name of the crew, I guess, Starlets. Oh, okay. And we, um, we flipped that into the song, because we be in Star, Starlets a lot, throwing for me, throwing mad bread, so might as well just make a song about it. Might as well, right? Mm-hmm. So the holidays are coming up. Do you have anything special planned for Melody? 
You know, it's funny. I don't like to plan stuff because my plans never go together. But this year, I'm planning on taking her down Disneyland in Paris. Oh, yeah. I wish I was born rich. <laughs> <laughs> She's lit. <laughs> Excellent. Spoil you. <laughs> what are some holiday traditions that you had as a kid growing up that you want to make sure that your daughter has? Some things I loved doing when I was younger, like... I love doing certain things that I wouldn't want her to do, first of all, matter of fact. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> Can't even think about what I want her to do. I'm thinking right now, but basically, I don't want my kid to be nothing like me, and I want my daughter to like do whatever she want to do. I don't want her to follow my path that I want her to follow. If she wanna, unless she wanna go on in a bad path, that's when not for me. I step up. But right. if she wanna be for me an artist or, or in a movie or whatever she wanna do, I'm gonna let her do that soccer play, whatever you wanna do. Right. <laughs> but it's just that she got to be happy. That's the most important thing. So. Or she could be whatever she want to be. So in a recent interview, Tory Lanez argued that fans care more about melody than they do lyrics. And you you know that that is a fact. That's um, a big fact. What do you think that means for artists who are more lyrical, like your partner, Don Q? <laughs> he know it too. So that's why I like... Right. Like... Like, I, I hate that shit. Because when I came out, everybody see it. I, I, I try to, like, put words back into right. music too, like... But then, like, even nowadays, it make me want to dumb it down for the fans because they don't even... They don't care. They don't care no more, for real. <laughs> so you might as well just dumb it down sometimes and mix it in at least. That's what I'm trying to do right now because it's crazy. So would you argue that that's what a lot of artists are doing nowadays and that's, like, what's happening to the mainstream down, like, the mainstream sound? Yeah, hopefully we could bring it back. Though. I feel like it's still a chance to bring that back. When, um, when great people make great music, you can't stop that. Like, great music... It lives forever, but you can't stop creating music, so... That's a fact. Do you believe in having New Year's resolutions? Hmm. Nah. No? One time, one time I... Uh, I came... I, I went through it one time. One time. Tell me. Tell me about I it. I had a bad habit. What I can't... Was it? I ain't gonna talk about it right now. <laughs> you don't wanna talk about nothing. What yeah. is it? I don't talk about stuff. No? It's crazy. Do you think that a lot of black men have that problem? Cause why is that? Why don't men want to talk? Um. <laughs> they just don't. <laughs> so um, I see your label is like they put up a sign asking to expand the team. What are some things that you got planned for the new year besides Artist 2.0? You know, you're going to ride out with this next album that's coming out. What are some things that you got planned for your brand and for yourself? We basically building like the, you know how you got like a starting five NBA. Yeah. We basically um yeah, building our whole thing up. We starting all over. We breaking, we breaking barriers. Start from bottom to the top. It's over right now. I already got the whole structure written down. Like in the beginning when we first started this thing, I wrote down the whole structure. Me, QP, Bubba, we wrote a blueprint and then nice. we did it. I feel like it's a time where we got to do the same thing over again. Like, we in the middle of that whole thing right now. Right. Word, so. Shout out to the process. The most fun thing about the whole thing, man. That's what's <laughs> up. And before we head up out of here, um, my best friend had wanted me to ask if there's ever a possibility that you would put Ella on the song. Because she said that she can sing OD. I'm like, oh, for real? I didn't know that. <laughs> one day. One day? It's going to come one day, yeah. That's, right. that's anticipation right there. Right. Because I know she, a lot of people waiting for that one right there. Yeah, she definitely Melody like, make too. sure you ask that. Melody too, definitely. Oh, she's singing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for her little one-two on the track. Facts. But thank you so much for coming through, A-Boogie. We are looking forward to your sophomore album coming out on December 21st, right? All right, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hoodie season, let's get it. <laughs>